Hello, today we are going to talk about Live Binders. Live Binders are a virtual folder on the web. They are great for guiding research or to teach a lesson, and they also work well with student portfolios. You should have already signed up for a free account, so let's go ahead and log in. When we come to this page, you can see my binders, but what we are going to do today is we're going to start a blank binder. Click on the link to the left, and it will be asking you for some information that you need to enter choose if you want it public or private. If you pick private, you have to enter a key. And you can choose whether or not you want Google to fill your binder. However, if you choose Google, you also have to go and make sure the sites that they pick are um, reliable. Okay, let's create a new binder. And as you can see, I have a blank binder with a few tabs. Jump up to the top right corner of the page, and you'll see three links. Click on Quick Guide, and you get a diagram of all the features that LiveBinders has to offer. Click on Save if you want to save your work, although LiveBinders does save it for you automatically, periodically. And I want you to click on the yellow Edit Menu button. Here you'll see a box that shows up on the bottom third of your page, and this allows you to edit your LiveBinder. Opens to Binder Properties, and you can see all the information you entered when you set up your binder, and you can change this. You can switch between private or public, and you can allow your live binder to be copyable or copy disabled. And you can change the color and update that. Next, you'll want to click on the text layout link. In here, you can see different layouts for your tabs, kind of like PowerPoint slides. Moving right to left, the next tab is Insert Media. In this tab, you can search Flickr images. You can search and embed YouTube videos. You can look through delicious bookmarks, or you can search your own tabs that are within the binder. Next, in the Edit menu, click on the Tabs link. In here, you can add tabs to your folder. You can add subtabs to the tabs. You can delete a tab, and it'll also delete its subtabs, so be sure you want to delete all the information. And you can delete subtabs. You can also move your tabs left to right if you think it belongs in a different order. You can also take subtabs and make new tabs out of them, or you can move the tabs and subtabs around by putting them in different tabs. About the tabs, if you click in the um, white box, you can name it. And if you click on the arrow on the right, you can um, edit the tabs. To add websites to the tabs, what I need to do is I need to go out and find some websites that I find useful. Here is Google Tips for the Classroom. It's a learnist board. I copy the URL. I go back. I enter it. I hit insert. And there you go. For the next tab, I'm going to go um, out on the web and do the same thing. If I go to Google in Education, I copy that URL, I go back to Live Binders, I plug it in and hit Insert. Finally, in the third tab, I am going to add another resource. Um, this time I'm going to add a PDF so you can see how it loads. I copy the URL where it's found on the web, I enter it, and you can see the PDF right inside the Live Binder. You may have noticed when you entered the URLs that the names of the tabs took on the URL as their name. So what we want to do is we want to delete that and rename it. We're going to name this one Learnist. We're going to name this one Google in Education. And we're going to name the third one Become a Google Meister flyer. The last item we are going to explore in the edit menu box is the upload file link. Here you can browse your computer and search for different um, files or pictures that you want to embed in your live binder. If you want a um, document that students can modify and then email back to you, then you may want to embed a Word document. However, if you want a document that students can look at, um, answer on their own paper, and then um, turn in, you may want to change your Word document to a PDF because then it will actually show up in the tab. That concludes our tutorial on using Live Binders. Please save your file and then close the edit menu.
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Stop by the Media Center. Send me an email.